Hi everyone, this is Alana from the Brantford Public Library. I'm here to share some reading recommendations and reviews from library staff and customers. We do this so you have an opportunity to hear what we're reading and what other customers are reading as well, and give you some ideas of what to read next. The first staff recommendation comes from Leanna. Leanna recommends the book The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell. She says, The Family Upstairs is dark, disturbing, and diabolic. It felt like a homage to the worlds of V.C. Andrews created in her twisted family sagas, which relied heavily on atmosphere and sinister storylines. Jewel's plot involves a wealthy family, an airy mansion, a freaky cult, and some strange characters. If you're looking for an engrossing psychological thriller, check it out. Thank you for sharing, Leanna. Lisa Jewel is a really great author in my opinion. I've read a couple of books by her myself. So I'd also like to recommend her book, I Found You, which is the story of three seemingly unrelated people whose lives come together in a strange and interesting way. The three characters include a man with no memory, a single mother, and a newlywed woman in a new country. It's a tense psychological thriller that I couldn't put down. Another one of hers that I really enjoyed is The Third Wife, which involves family secrets, lies, and just all kinds of corruption. So like Leanna said, if, if psychological thrillers are your thing, then this author is definitely one to check out. Also, Leanna does host um, a book talk podcast for teens and tweens, so if you're interested in that, the link will be in the description. Our customer reviews today come from Heather and Sarah. Heather's reviewed the book Girls Like Us by Christina Alger. She says, Nell Flynn visits home after her father dies in a motorcycle accident, her first visit home in 10 years. While there, the body of a young woman is discovered, and an old school friend invites Nell to join him in investigating the case. There's been a tie to a mur murder from the previous summer, a case her father was still working on when he died. Girls Like Us is fast-paced, surprising, and addicting. I read through it quickly because I had to know what was happening. This was the first Christina Aguilar I've, I've read, and it won't be the last. Thank you, Heather. This book has gotten lots of really good reviews. It sounds like something I would read. Um, Christina Agler has said in interviews that she's gotten her inspiration for her novels from true crime stories. This novel in particular was inspired by the Long Island serial killer or the Craigslist Ripper. In my opinion, that seems a bit morbid to me. I mean, th these are real people in real situations and to take it and make fiction the background of it, I don't know. I'm a huge fan of mystery and thriller books, but I think the fact that it's influenced by something so horribly real, I don't know, does that make it more intriguing? Maybe. Lots of fiction and movies are based on reality and real events, so I don't know. Let me know what you think. And if you're interested, you can follow the link and put it on hold. The next review comes from Sarah, who's reviewed the book Roses Run by Don Dumont. She says, this starts out as a story of a daily life of disappointments for Rose, who lives on a Saskatchewan reservation. She loses her job, then her car, then her husband, to another woman. The fact that Gilbert, the lying, cheating, rat of a husband, is lost to her may be a blessing in disguise. As tragic as it all sounds, Rose, with her two daughters, is making it on her own. She does not lose her sense of humor. She gets another job and somehow gets signed up to run a marathon. Learning to run again is a good thing, as Rose needs it. When the book takes a turn to the dark side, a grave has been disturbed and has released a spirit that is not happy with anyone, men in particular. A fast-paced, easy read with lots of laughs and chilling moments. Four out of five stars. Thank you, Sarah. The author, Don Dumont, is a Plains Creek comedian and actor and was born and raised in Saskatchewan. She has first-hand knowledge of what it's like to live on a Saskatchewan reservation. 
She's done stand-up comedy in clubs all over North America and is currently a writer for CBC Radio and the Edmonton Journal. She's also a story editor for By the Rapids, which is an animated comedy series on APTN. She has another book called Nobody Cries at Bingo, which is available online and is an honest and hilarious look at life on a Canadian reservation. So if you're interested in any of her titles, please check them out now. It's in the link below. If you have any recommendations that you'd like to share with us, please do so. Thank you.